let's bow our heads and for a moment of silence for all these brave men who gave, gave their lives for our country. May God rest their souls. Now I'd like our American Legion unit president, my wife Alicia Kern, to place the wreath out in front of our podium. Flowers may wither, but the spirit which they are a symbol will endure until the end of time. We are now going to uh, have our post everlasting ceremony. This ceremony recognizes all the veterans from the American Legion who have passed since our service last year. This movement is sacred in the almost visible presence of the ones who have gone before. We come to honor the memory of those who offered his or her life in the service of country and who is now enrolled in the great spirit army whose footfalls cause no sound. But in the memory of mankind, their souls go marching on, sustained by the pride of service in time of war. Because of them, our lives are free because of them, our nation lives. Because of them, the world is blessed. May this service deepen our reverence for our departed comrades. Comrade Adjutant, please place the American Legion cap on the stacked rifles in remembrance of our departed comrades in service to our country in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, or Coast Guard. Comrade Chaplain, please offer a prayer. You may remain as you are, but please uncover. Our God, the giver and receiver of life, we are about to read the names of the members of the American Legion Post 165 soldiers and sailors who served in our armed forces and have now passed from this earth. Give comfort to the wives and husbands, the sons and daughters, 